Or know better, do better. Be careful of what's in your clothes. There are forever chemicals in the crotch region of Lululemon leggings and the leggings of many other companies. These are PFAs, perfluoroalkyl compounds, that are called forever chemicals. It's very hard for the body to get rid of these and they're persistent in the environment. We know they can be absorbed through the skin, which is crazy when you think about the fact that they're concentrated in the crotch region of leggings like these. And women don't wear underwear with these commonly. These chemicals are associated with hormone disruption, with cancers, with thyroid, kidney, and liver damage in humans. They're horrible for us. And they're in our clothing, especially the crotch region of these leggings, where you're not wearing underwear. They're getting into your body and they're staying there. Know what's in your leggings. Make smart choices. Shalom, this is Gamali Allah of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shemiel Shai, by Shemakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are preaching out this truth in sincerity. It's a quick lesson. And um, uh, this is going to be entitled Toxins. Um, this is an article that I found. Well, first of all, you saw um, on the video, all right, that uh, you have what's called forever chemicals in uh, in food. I mean, I'm sorry, in uh, clothing. All right. And it's literally everywhere. All right. Uh, these forever chemicals. This is EPA, the blacklistednews.com. EPA finds toxic forever chemicals in water systems across the U.S., it says the Environmental Protection Agency discovered toxic cancer-causing forever chemicals in water systems across the country. Equipment used to test for perfluoral, perfluoralkyl, uh, known as PFAs, is drinking is in drinking water is seen at Trident Laboratories. The August 17th finding comes after U.S. Geological Survey found found in July that PFAs were found in 45% of tap water, water taps in the United States. The EPA's separate findings were the, are the latest evidence that these controversial chemicals are widespread in the environment. PFAs be, are called forever chemicals because they build up and accumulate in a person's body over time instead of breaking down and have been linked to a number of serious illnesses, including cancer and birth defects. The EPA reported that the toxins could affect the drinking water of 26 million people, according to an environmental advocacy organization called EWG, which analyzed the latest agency data. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, man, this is, uh, thanks to, all thanks to Esau, the so-called white man. All right, the so-called white man is Esau in the Bible. All right, and, um, you know, when you read Job 9 and 24, it says uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So there's no one else to blame except for Esau. OK. All right. Because he's the one that has the control and rulership over what gets produced. OK. What gets produced and. Um, and. Uh, uh, you know, made. Uh, uh, made to the public okay provided to the public all right he has the say so and so much so that you know there's uh you know regulations you know there's different um what do you call it uh uh there's different what do you call it uh uh you got the fda regulation yeah there's different companies not companies, but uh, uh, environmental, like you got the EPA, you got the FDA, you got different, whatever you call them. But these are agencies, you got different agencies that are responsible for what goes, what gets 
uh, produced to the public. Okay. So there's no one to blame except for Esau, man. Esau is the problem. All right. When you, like I said, when you read Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. The earth, the whole entire earth, you know, he has the resources. He has the money. He has the power, the technology. OK, he has everything, man, you know, and. Anything that goes wrong on earth, okay, you should blame the so-called white man, okay? He's to blame. No one else is to blame except for, for E, okay? No one else is to blame, okay? So uh, let's get... Matter of fact, uh, let's start with... Um, Obadiah. Obadiah 1 and 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are the hidden things sought up? Okay. And so we're we're starting to see the the hidden things, okay? The things of Esau, the wickedness of Esau. Okay, because he knows that these chemicals are harmful, all right? But but everything is all in the name of money, okay, and capitalism. So they don't give a damn about, uh, uh, you know, your health. You know, they don't give a damn about, you know, um, things, chemicals that they know are harmful. They know they're harming the people, but fuck it, they're making money. And also, um, you know, they do their testing on... on you know they do, tested out the jab they didn't they didn't do proper uh trials testing trials on the jab but yet they produced it and gave it to the masses anyway that's why people are suffering uh what's called um uh what is it i can't remember the name of it but basically where people are collapsing man from heart attacks okay And um, not only that, but, you know, you have slave labor going on. So the so-called white man, he doesn't care about it's all in the name of capitalism. They don't care about the people. They don't care about the, the masses, man. OK, it's all in the name of profits, all in the name of money, you know, and whatnot. OK. But these are the hidden things of Esau. OK, because. You know, He's been getting away with it way, way, way too long, okay? He's been getting away with wickedness way, way, way too long. That's why he's got to be put out of rulership, okay? Jeremiah 49 and 10, it says, But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. So, like I said, part of being making Esau bear is exposing the evil things he's doing to poison the masses. He's deliberately poisoning the masses, okay? The masses of people in the world, all right? He knows what's going into these because he, you know, he could easily, oh, well, we didn't know. We didn't know this stuff was harmful. Well, you fucking knew. All right, you knew. But that's the problem with that's the problem with this devil, man. He thinks he thinks he can do anything he wants. Well, he he, he can, but he's not going to get away with it. He's not going to get away with it. So these are forever chemicals that don't break down. That's why it's important to detox. You know what I'm saying? And get those toxins out of you that's why the name of the um lesson is toxins now this is another thing called excital toxins okay now excital toxin is a substance added to foods and beverages that literally stimulates neurons to death it can be found in msg 
as part of me, uh, hydrolyzed protein and aspiric acid. So, um, let me see. So, Supper has reviewed excitotoxins because the population we serve is likely to be more vulnerable than average population to the neurological effects of food additives. Okay, briefly, when a brain suffers the effects of low blood sugar, various brain systems begin to malfunction. We experience it as confusion, mental fatigue, fuzzy thinking, anxiety. One of the one of the systems that is affected is the system that protects neurons from glutamate and as part as partate. Both of these are amino acids. Okay. And, you know, the list goes on. But these, like I said, these are just all, these are all the inventions of Esau, man. Okay? Listen to this. The only reason for excital toxins to be, to be there is to boost the sales of processed food by sweetening them artificially or otherwise enhancing the taste of foods whose flavors have been lost to processing at the same time that they stimulate taste cells in the tongue they stimulate neurons packaged foods like sauces soups gravy mixes and especially frozen low fat low fat prepared mood foods wouldn't sell for lack of flavor if they weren't artificially enhanced all right so processed foods man and who is in charge of of distributing, you know, processed foods, Esau. All right, so he's the devil. He is destroying people. It's causing so many health problems, so many issues in this society. Health is is a is at an all-time low in this modern day and age. You know, there used to be, I remember there used to be a food pyramid, you know, and you would have a, a pyramid of, you know, what, is best to eat, you know, and at the top, and then you know different things, you know, trickle down to the bottom. But these are that, that that's no longer existent, man. People don't give a damn. Esau doesn't give a damn about what what he's feeding you, and he's the devil. He's nothing but the devil. All right. This is Sirach. Uh, This is Sirach 38 and 4. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So the Lord created medicine. When you read in Genesis, it goes into the uh, the herb bearing seed, how the Lord created herbs for meat. All right. So herbs and medicine are from the earth. They grow from the ground. But see, Esau, doesn't he doesn't keep the law which one of the laws is the land Sabbath, which is to let the land rest to replenish the nutrients in the soil. But he doesn't do that. But the Lord created herbs and vegetables and things to grow from the ground for our benefit, okay, for our uh, 